All rise. Judge Bundy B. Court is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1037, McVeal case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Okay, Ms. McVeal, yes. you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Well, Leroy is my husband, and we, um, we're we're divorced, but we're live back together because we tried. We're we're trying to reconcile. Okay, but well, that's good. The problem is he's not working, and we have three kids. Okay, how old are the kids? Uh, five, what seven. What you mean eight. I ain't working? I want Sir, to... I will give you an opportunity to speak in just a moment. You see why we're divorced? But you guys are back together trying to work it well, out, I'm right? Working. I'm driving the truck. I don't drive every day, maybe two, two, two days a week or something, but I'm still working. That's working. Two days a week? That's something. Okay. You spending the money. I'm looking for a full-time job, but it's you are working. It's an interesting relationship. I'm making the money. I'm supposed to spend it. You said and you guys I live, working. you guys live together right now? Well, see, the, Temporary well, the reason I let him back in is because it's expensive. Ba you know, child care is expensive, so okay. I just decided... So, so let me ask the question again. Work. Let me ask the question again. How old are the kids? Five, seven, five, seven and ten. Five, seven, ten. Okay. Yes. And you all live together with the kids. Yes. And he agreed. He, we talked about it, and he agreed that this would be a good arrangement. I and he would. Did that he would. Hold on one second, me, sir. Dennis, excuse please. me. Excuse Don't me. Don't talk. Ma'am. Yes. Do not talk to him. Yes. Sir, yes, Your Honor. do not talk to her and definitely do not interrupt me, either of you. Understood? Yes, I Your understand, Honor. but now. You well, will get your opportun opportunity to speak in just a moment. Now, again, you guys live in the same house with the kids and you're trying to reconcile this thing. Only because of the kids. I didn't tell him that, kids. but that's Well, really, that's not a bad, that's I mean, really my reason. You know, if, if you're doing it because you believe it's in the best interest of the children, great. I don't see how that household works with you guys arguing like that, but you know, I'm that has nothing to, to do with me. Child care. I understand, I understand. So, sir, now's your opportunity to speak. Is what she's saying accurate? Basically, you all live all together? Right. We live together. She right, I came back for the kids uh, just to help them out. That's the only reason I came back. She ain't telling all That's not the only reason. What, what's the other reason I come did, back? Did you, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, do I'm not sorry. interrupt him. That's the only reason I come back is for the kids to, uh, you know, she needs to, I'm not working full time. She needs somebody to take care of the kids. They are my kids. What do so you mean I, not working full time? Excuse me. Oh. That will be the I'm last time you have an outburst, yeah, sure. and that will be the last time you talk to her. And I would just dismiss your case, and you guys can go and work this out somehow. No, I'm trying to explain it to her. She keep interrupting me. Uh, well, explain it to me. We're we're not. I already told you both. We're not going to have these disruptions. Let me tell you what's really happening here. She's mad because I went to Kabul two weeks ago, and uh, that was a told week ago. her I was going. She said, "Go ahead, go." So I went down to Cabo. Well, we get in a big argument over the phone. Uh, uh, what did you go to Cabo for? I went down there to, to relax, have a good time, do a little party oh, and stuff. Oh wow! You know, I okay. work hard when I ain't working on my job. I'm taking care of the kids, cleaning, mopping the floors, cleaning the bathroom, everything. Sound you like know? a good man. No, I'm like, can we stop I this? I need a break too. So anyway, I go down there. She think I'm down there cheating on her, playing around on her and stuff. So. Uh, she get mad, uh, 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 blowing my phone up. I say, well, you know, she cried, talking about well, what's going on. I say, well, what you mean what's going on? I told her I was going to go to Cabo. She told me, you said go on down there, enjoy yourself. You know, so that's what I did. Did you enjoy yourself? I sure did. Okay, you know. well, good. But we're she good. think I was cheating on her down there. You okay. Know? Well, I need a break. Well, you, you know, guys are already I'm divorced. Care of kids while she tried to work. I'm taking care of kids. Well, you, you know. all are already divorced. So at this point, yeah. You're asking that he be placed on child support, correct? Correct. Okay. No, that's not happening. Um, there is no so, way. Well, there is no way that he can be placed on child support and the kids live in the same home that's as right. him. That's, that's, that's right. that so I just need happen. to kick him out again, then. 
I'm well, you know, you. that's that up to you. He will, he'll that's, get a job and I can get some money. That's up to you on what you all decide to do. But as of today, as for now, legally, I cannot place him on child support and the kids that's reside under the... You excuse me. You, you, know what? You, I'm a, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and sorry, tell you yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm sorry. The answer is no sorry, to you. No, don't be sorry. Be careful. Okay? okay now, yes, I've already given you instructions. Yes, ma'am. And both of you have deliberately disregarded what I said. You can't get child support and the kids reside in the same home as he. Okay? That's fine. I'm, I got, I, I got okay, my so, plan already. So her, you ain't got okay, no okay plan. well, here's the plan for this, for today. Do you have any other questions? Yes. One, what is it? Can I kick him out without? I'm not answering that question. Do you have any other questions in regards to what I said? Yes. What is that? Is this still legal? Like I can just throw his clothes on the curb and then okay, no, I can I, I'll go ahead. Crazy, I see you came here. Excuse me. I, I see you came you. here to waste my time. So I'm I, I moving along, sir. Do you have money. any other questions? Yana. No, it's a yes or no. Do you have any other questions about what I just said no, about I my room? No, I, I ain't got no questions. What you said. Okay, she, the plan is she, for you guys to leave my courtroom because you are dismissed. I just wanted to go over what you all witnessed in the McVille case. So the parties, they divorce. They're now reconciling and living in the same house along with the children. Mom wants to put dad on child support. Can she do it? Absolutely not. In Texas, you cannot pay child support for a child that currently resides in the same home as you do. It just doesn't happen like that, and it's that simple.